since I was a little kid, I've been drawn to art. I will be drawing and playing with clay. Uh, so it was very clear for me that my path, it was gonna be in something related to the plastic arts. That's how I pretty much, my whole life was geared into that field. My name is Gabriel Garcia. I am a prototype sculptor for the collectible industry. I'm also a art director and product developer for collectibles. Commercially, getting paid for about 30 years, but I've been sculpting since I was five years old. This is something that, that it was a second nature for me. Through the years, I tried to learn techniques and and stuff like that, but, but this is something that I was uh, gifted with, you know. Um, I just knew how to make things out of clay. I started as a traditional sculptor and I was using clays, oil-based clays, and sculpting wax and Chevan clay. About 10 years ago, I turned into digital and I've been using ZBrush. And it allows me to, to create digital sculptures. The pros for sculpting digitally against traditional is speed. Uh, you can do stuff very complex in a very short time. It also allows you to have way more detail, like super extreme textures that you won't be able to do by hand, cons, you don't get to touch what you create in the computer until it's printed. When you're working traditionally, you have this, so you're touching it with your hands, you can turn it around, and, and when you're done, you have the piece right there. That would be the only negative part of it, but it's not even a bad thing. My thing is monsters. Everything related to creatures, fantasy, horror. And why? Because ever since I remember, I love horror movies. I was a, what you call a monster kid. I had a huge fascination to the universal monsters. And so yeah, that's, that's my favorite subject. Um, sculpting wise, I'm a huge fan of Takayuki Takeya. He's a Japanese sculptor that I admire. And also Steve Wang. Steve Wang is another uh, master of special effects. And I love uh, his, uh, his sculpting and his painting abilities. And uh, talking about painters, Frank Fraseda was my first um, uh, big uh, rock star. That I would look for all his artwork and stuff and try to emulate it. Uh, I try to sculpt things that that I want to have in my um, in my con collection, and but on the same token, I try to sculpt things to sell. I do my trade shows every year, so I need to have new stuff to offer. My main show that I do is Monster Palooza in California. Originally it was in Bourbon, now it's Pasadena. The second show that I do is Wonder Fest in Louisville, Kentucky. And the third show that I just added is Designer Con, uh, Orange County. I would say one six scale will be my favorite in general. I do sculpt a lot of custom made zombie heads that are one six scale. Um, also uh, female figures like uh, model kits that are one six scale. Uh, the second one will be one third, which is what I've been doing a lot on my new stuff. 
I scoped uh, busts that are one one third scale. It's a little larger. I like to, to have stuff that, that is a little more impressive. One sixth scale and one third. The lineup product that I sculpted for Gentle Giant Studios based on the movie The Pants Labyrinth. I sculpted two statues, one quarter scale statues, and three mini busts at one six scale, and one exclusive mini bus for Comic-Con. That full line, that's one of my most, uh, 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 my favorite and uh, the one that I'm most proud of. When I was uh, younger, my friends used to call me names because I was into all of this kind of stuff. Now I'm cool because I'm into all this kind of stuff. <laughs> so the, the tables have changed. Uh, I was very blessed to have uh, parents that they were very supportive in that aspect. And um, I never knew that this kind of stuff that I was doing as a pastime or hobby, it will turn into my, my way of, uh, of living. You have to push out a thousand bad uh, 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 sculptings before you get to the good one. So meaning that you have to sculpt a lot of stuff in order to uh, increase your skills or improve your skills uh, as an artist. So definitely you have to practice, practice a lot. So I do sell all my stuff that I do, my Facebook page where you can reach me and see pictures of all the stuff that I have available for sale is uh, Gabriel Garcia Studios and I, my Instagram is pretty much the same, Gabriel Garcia Studios. I think uh, the, the stuff that I like the most about my career or occupation is that uh, it allowed me to meet my heroes, the people that I admire. and. That's very rewarding. And sometimes when they have nice things to say about my own work, it's really nice, really nice to, to hear that from them. I think even when, I, when I'm gonna be like retired, I'm still gonna be sculpting. I don't think that I have ever worked like in my life because the, the, the stuff that I do is like a hobby that turned into my job. I always feel that, that uh, I'm doing what I like and, and I'm happy. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing the same until retire or until I die.